one thing you should keep in mind is that the predominant form of ldh that is found in muscle as well as liver is your ldh5 or m4 which comes from ldh a gene i don't know um, okay. okay perfect so ldh a gene you can see we ask this question there is about four times more ldh in the uh, muscle than in the liver but there is something called cori cycle in biochemistry textbooks where when let's say there is an athlete this person runs a sprint at the end of the sprint what happens all the oxygen that is there in the muscle tissue gets consumed and then there is fermentation right anaerobic glycolysis anaerobic respiration basically so there is whatever pyruvate is there is going to be converted into lactate in the absence of oxygen or hypoxic conditions but there is four times more uh, ldh in muscle than in the liver but then according to cori cycle what happens is there is a glucose which you know leads to formation of lactate in the muscle and then later what happens is that lactate a minuscule amount of it can go into the mitochondria but that is not very very feasible maybe most of it will be transported into the blood where you have another form predominant form is ldh2 then it goes into the liver uh, lactate is reconverted and through gluconeogenesis glucose is formed and again glucose comes into the blood this is basically what is cori cycle so first question is why is lactate even transported to the liver because according to biochemistry textbook this reaction is reversible so it should be reconverted to pyruvate in the muscle itself so when we discussed this over the phone then we started exploring this sir i and also avinav we started exploring how or why you know ldh is uh, how it is involved what is the role of oxygen in that uh, why this cori cycle should occur because there is more in the muscle than in the liver just remember that so another point uh, is is lactate metabolized in the mitochondria so one point i should tell you here is that the h type ldh they say that it converts lactate into pyruvate better hot Uh, they they say it is aerobic type ldh and the other one they say is the uh, anaerobic ldh which is your liver or muscle ldh so we wanted to explore if there are any differences in these proteins in their structures in their ability to bind pyruvate and lactate so also one more question why is lactate produced in the presence of oxygen as well in cori cycle and what is the relevance of ldh in that so if you see your entire glycolytic pathway many people now agree that the glycolysis does not end with step number 10 where you have pyruvate formation because the concentration of lactate is to pyruvate is like 10 is to 1 in tissues okay so the last step of glycolysis would be lactate formation that is what many people say so another thing is that um, if you look at this pathway you got all these stars those are the negative charges on the molecules you can also see the energy values that are there in kilojoules per mole for all of these steps 
there is a key step here where uh, you have step number 6 where nadh is formed and you also have h plus there but you also have uh, at the end you have lactate being formed and uh, you can say that uh, you know you got lactate look at the concentration of lactate that you have is about 1.6 to 16 millimolar when you compare uh, pyruvate which is much much lesser so you can uh, one point there which is yeah yeah the zoom the zoom the no no zoom lesser zoom lesser so you got uh, lactic acid they say that more lactic acid is there than it is acidosis but uh, the pyruvate is much more acidic than lactate based on the pk value so we we'll go to the next slide okay this is what you have uh, ldh itself the isozymes of ldh and the concentration of uh, ldh i mean lactate pyruvate ratio lp ratio is known to be you know a diagnostic marker for several diseases like even mitochondrial disorders no leave it to be now so if we go back to this slide uh, you can see that there is a proton being released here right so um what happens is proton consumption also occurs in the ldh step so lactic acidosis technically should not occur because uh, whatever proton is produced here can be consumed by ldh also and therefore it can be like a, a you know proton stat pH stat so therefore the pH should not change or it should not decrease but then uh, that is what they say there is a term lactic acidosis but then we should remember that uh, you know in all these steps one main thing is uh, you got lactate at the end not just pyruvate there is way more lactate than pyruvate now we come to how this enzyme is you can see that it is as a monomer you got the ldh a ldh b both of them look similar and uh, they form this you can see a very nice groove here like a, a k or whatever it is where nad or nadh they show in this crystal structure that it is bound and uh, there is a 10 angstrom deep well like that you know inside this part what you are seeing here is the nicotinamide uh, nucleo adenine dinucleotide coenzyme but you also got a cleft there where they say that pyruvate and lactate go and bind now you must understand in uh, what they are saying conventionally is that uh, nadh binds first the, the coenzyme binds first so somehow your lactate or pyruvate has to wade through nadh is already there right it has to wade through cross that and go and bind so then we ask the question are the active sites of a and b different because people are saying that a and b both of them are one is aerobic other one is anaerobic one has preference for lactate that is heart wala one has got preference for lactate the muscle uh, isozyme has got preference for pyruvate is there any difference you can see that practically the active site these are crystal structures by the way so uh, you got two crystal structures both of them left side you got ldh a and the right side you got ldh b you can see that uh, there is oxamate bound there oxamic acid or oxamate is known to be an inhibitor of ldh 
and you can see that there are two r genes r105 and 168 they say that the positively charged r genine attracts the negatively charged alpha hydroxy acid moieties that is you got lactate as well as pyruvate which are negatively charged so they get attracted and they bind uh, through these r genine and there is a conserved histidine there which plays the role of a acid base catalyst uh, histidine can be protonated as well as deprotonated because its pka is closer to the physiological ph so it can give as well as take protons from substrates that are bound to it that is the classical theory so if you compare conservation and all that i don't want to go deep into these things i've already showed that so this is the uh, thing that sir was talking about where you got the nicotinamide and uh, there is a change of one h and there are two electrons which are transferred so according to lininger textbook the conversion of pyruvate to lactate uh, has got a delta g of about minus 25.1 kilojoule per mole so if you reverse it it is plus 25 right for lactate to become pyruvate that is very easily surmountable in terms of, of thermodynamic reversibility that is very reversible so if you see the uh, mechanism of the enzyme uh, there is histidine 195 right which has got the proton and that proton can be donated and all that that is acid base catalysis which you have so if you see we have got two things that people say can happen one is the forward reaction and the other one is the reverse reaction we term forward reaction as lactate to pyruvate because the name of the enzyme is lactate dehydrogenase right Uh, the reverse reaction would be pyruvate to lactate so you can see that we have put uh, all the values of kd and km of the enzyme now we can say that the uh, active sites are identical right i've shown you that slide active sites are identical nadh binds first and then only lactate and i told you that going through when there is a large molecule like that the small ones have to you know squeeze through perhaps because that uh, entry channel is very confined it's narrow it's 10 angstrom deep but it's narrow and the forward and backward reactions are actually reversible according to literature right but they made a huge mistake in their energetics of the reaction where you know if you take the textbook values that you have there are many ways to calculate delta g one is through minus nf dot uh, into delta e you get minus 26 kilojoule per mole you can also uh, take the equilibrium constant and you can calculate you get about minus 66 or you you can also uh you can calculate the delta g of reaction by taking the sum of the delta g of products and minus the delta g of the reactants so if you see the textbook values of the redox potentials that are given the literature values you will end up with these values if you calculate but what they have ignored is the contribution of you know h plus and you can see that uh when you add this term right you get a, a energy of minus 476.4 kilojoule per mole and the equilibrium constant is roughly around 10 to the power of 83 per molar that is it is always going to go from pyruvate to lactate if you got a equilibrium uh, constant of 1 then you can say that it can go this way and that way but when the equilibrium constant becomes higher the reaction is going one way so here it is uh, going from pyruvate i mean uh, pyruvate to lactate 
right? You can see very easily that uh, this uh, pyruvate to lactate here has minus 476. But if you reverse that, if you want to make lactate to pyruvate, it becomes plus 476, which you cannot easily cross. That energy barrier is very high. So we kind of guessed that pyruvate to lactate is very feasible because the equilibrium constant is very high, but lactate to pyruvate, because if you reverse the sign plus 476, it becomes very difficult. And uh, to get that much of, uh, you know, energy, you need something to support that, to reverse it, right? So uh, this is a energetically disfavored forward reaction. By forward reaction, we mean lactate to pyruvate. So uh, Sir also studied other reactions that are happening, uh, for example, with other alpha hydroxy acids. You can see not only lactate and pyruvate, there is also the reduced and oxidized forms of glycolate, glyoxylate, malate, oxaloacetate, isocitrate, and all that. You can see that almost all of them, you got uh, that energy being with very, very high, right? So here, uh, we also came to this conclusion that there would be some role of ROS. In literature, there is also peroxide formation in LDH reactions, and there is also the involvement of other ROS, which are there in the reaction. Now we have to ask two important questions. Lactate, which is generated in the muscle, there is also something known as a lactate transporter, and the lactate tends to go into mitochondria. Number two, lactate goes also to the Cori cycle, to the liver. Now, classically, both these places are very rich uh, places where you have a lot of ROS production, right? In mitochondria, there is a lot of reactive oxygen species. In liver, because you have a lot of cytochrome P450 enzymes, liver is very reddish brown in color because of the presence of cytochrome P450 enzymes. Uh, and heme is the coenzyme that is present in those cytochrome P450s. So why does it go to the liver? We got to answer that question, right? So if you take uh, RH metabolism, RH is any drug, any generic drug we can say is RH. So the role of cytochrome P450 would be to insert one oxygen into the drug. Okay, so RH becomes ROH. Okay, I hope you are able to understand this. So in liver microsomal cytochrome P450 metabolism, you got a drug RH, it can become ROH. So there is consumption of NADPH by the liver, right? And then you got NADP plus and OH minus being formed. Now, if your lactate reacts with NAD plus to form pyruvate and NADPH plus H plus, and if you write how this RH metabolism, drug metabolism, along with drug metabolism, if lactate also goes there, because of the presence of ROS in the liver, lactate can again be converted to pyruvate. So here you got your drug RH, you got lactate, you got NADPH, and you got O2. Now your O2 becomes H2O, and you also got ROH coming from RH, and lactate has become pyruvate. But simultaneously, NADPH, NAD plus can become NADP plus and NADH. So you got even NADH formation, right? So when LDH works from lactate to pyruvate, 
what happens lactate is a reduced molecule right pyruvate has got only ch3co co minus lactate is ch3 choh co minus so lactate is a more reduced molecule than pyruvate do you agree or not so the protons which are there in lactate they can go into formation of something else right even hydrogen peroxide can be formed so if you see this overall reaction here where what is the role of oxygen here right so along with your p450 metabolism when your p450 is working on a drug there if your lactate is there you can also lactate can get converted to pyruvate so now whatever you have h plus and oh minus that you have that gets fused to form h2o so this uh, mechanism you can see is able to it is energetically favorable we'll show you that uh, even peroxide formation you can see that peroxide can be formed from ldh reaction that is reported in a paper so um if we come to what is the role of this i think i'll do this later so here you got we also thought let's check what is the role of substrate binding okay substrate binding like lactate and pyruvate where does it bind uh, what about inhibitors of lactate dehydrogenase there are uh, lots of inhibitors that people use uh, they want to uh, take lactate dehydrogenase they want to put inhibitors of ldh and stop ldh from working uh, and that is a way to, you know in cancer therapeutics so how can uh, these lactate dehydrogenase system be inhibited so we found in literature that there are many inhibitors that people have worked on uh, you got so many inhibitors which are natural molecules like gossypol and many other flavonoids and all that which are too large i can say to enter the active site of ldh okay they are too large the active site is quite narrow you already have any dh so there are different ways that the enzyme can be inhibited we can say that there are certain things like pyruvate or lactate mimics uh, like we saw the uh, example um you can also have crypt blockers something goes and binds to the entry channel and stays there and so there can be no access by nadh or the substrate uh, there can also be interfacial inhibitors now they are looking at how you can disrupt the ldh tetramer and uh, you know prevent ldh from acting effectively so um, there are uh, interfacial inhibitors but what we are saying is that all these inhibitors most of them are very good antioxidants so and we did docking of several inhibitors as well as substrates and this is just an overview then i just yes. break and ask this yeah just this presented in your this one this one in this yes people what is what is happening if you had the last session i said something about enzymes what is this violating what is the textbook idea giving wrong very outrightly wrong idea what is being advocated now see the point is i want you to think independent you are spending your time this is a good time 
pleasant you could always be outside but you chose to come here so certain things we are trying to get you to think beyond the textbooks so danny now presented something very clearly what is given in textbooks or is given in papers how do you think this is wrong outrightly you should anybody should have said this is wrong how come he could ever say something like this is it okay danny stealing your thunder but no it's okay yeah. what could be wrong so ldh a and ldh b you already said the active sites look very similar everything is very similar one takes from pyruvate to lactate yes or no that's what it says no ah, yes why should it be Wrong. What is the definition of an enzyme? We discussed uh, that yeah, they yeah. have gone for. Sir, wait, 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 wait. That's okay. That's okay. Kids. Confident. Blunder. Push me. Confident. Yes. Yes. For microphone, please. She should learn to speak. Is there? No, there is nothing grinning. Don't grin. Da. That's silly. Nothing. No grinning. Speak freely. Speak confidently. I am saying this to the world. Do you understand? No. Yeah. Good. Don't don't get excited. Don't get excited. When what happens is when you grin and laugh and smile, you're messing with your scientific temper. Something that you're doing seriously, you would rather do seriously. If you want to have fun, we have fun. All right. I said something about equilibrium, thermodynamic equilibrium. What does the enzyme do with respect to the position of the equilibrium? That was the question. What's your name? Aruna. Yeah, yes. Calling him or calling him. Everybody can hear you. Sir. Hello. Hello, Danny. What's your name? Enzyme is a biological catalyst. Yeah, you said that. Skip. What is the other part? We discussed. Guys, here anybody? Remember? It only allows you attainment of equilibrium. Yes, exactly. That's very important. So, what does the equilibrium dictate? Yes, good. You said something. That's partly right, but that's not what was the crux of what we are discussing. So, why? What is so so awkward about this proposal? Now, when you put a What does an equilibrium tell you, basically, the position, the data? Now, if you, in normal states, would you imagine that? See, I can jump from here to here. I can jump from there to here. But from here to Everest, can I jump that way? From there, I can come down. I mean, I, happily is true, <laughs> but <laughs> theoretically, it is possible, right? That is what these values are supposed to be. So now, here is something that I'll very clearly say. I wanted to interrupt because the attention span goes off after some time, right? So that's why a lot of details. They are already it's AC. After some time, their um, their mind starts wandering. Now, if I say, uh, uh, why should something be feasible or facile or possible while something is not? Enzymes have no brains. All right, they just do certain things. I mean, they could be. I don't know. We don't know. We are only at particular level. Sorry, I take back. Not that intelligent, but we know how they work generally. So basically, uh, like we said, they, if an equilibrium condition is that it will be five, one, two, three, something like that. That will be the general condition. The, the delta G is calculated at what conditions? Normal temperature of normal temperature, ideal concentr, but but one normal one molar, all that. No, the standard D. So when you give the delta G, it kind of says this state, that state. You get an idea. So what does this guys? What do your biology textbooks advocate with this kind of proposal? 
Why did they do that? Now here, slowly you will start asking why, how, and all. So now here you see, they see that LDHB is in where? Which place? Heart. Where? Heart. Who said heart? Somebody said heart. Yeah, that's right. Heart is the place. So does heart have lactate? See, now, where, where, where do you get lactate accumulated? Muscles. Quick stress, that's so, that's so feeling. Heart keeps on pumping, never has cramps, no lactate deposition. So, they found that LDHP is in <laughs> heart. So, it must naturally, uh, suppose, now, now I'll give you an example. Uh, they, they found some elephants, this is the most favorite example. They found some elephants in uh, Mansarovar, near Mansarovar in Tibet. Okay. And uh, the elephants had uh, Akut and Kunjiram and Delaid and some nice Mallu names, name tags. They look like Mallu elephants. Okay. So now there were four of them. And sometimes when they find four elephants there like that, they also found a Maruti 800 with um, Kerala registration. Okay. So somebody said, put forward a theory. So these four, and sometimes it rained also. So some theory like that. So when it rains, some um, Pallu elephants from Kerala take a Maruti and drive down from Kerala. So there should be some line and logic. Four elephants, four car seats, one to one correlation. What of so something fit, observation fit. Then uh, Kerala tag, all, all. But then something should irritate. Yes. yes. What what are the things that irritate you? How elephants fit in Wonderful. Why elephants are large? Car is small. Car is small. And uh, also, the, I could not say the time factor. You know, sometimes uh, uh, elephants were seen in Kerala, uh, say, Monday afternoon, and they are uh, in Tibet on Monday evening. So, even if they're going by a car, it's highly unlikely that they reach. So, even if they can go fit in the car and reach in two hours, it's highly unlikely that they can run. <laughs> Even if they can drive all the way until there, there is no <laughs> from Kerala direct road to. <laughs> so, and there are multiple level of problems. Just because the heart doesn't have lactic um, acidosis or cramps and all that keeps pumping, just because there is <laughs> lactic dehydrogenase B there, is not because it can violate the principles of physics. Did you understand? Did you understand? But you cannot, you know, that, that kind of a thing is what has happened. Now, these four elephants and four uh, seats in Maruti car will be useful for you when I try to, we'll talk about that most important question, four electrons, four protons, uh, uh, one molecule of oxygen making two molecules of water, all that, you know, that electron transport chain. But the idea that these things, the elephant, four elephants. Now, you people are doing bio stuff, right? Now, I say a civil engineer, if you ask him, how big is this? Okay, this is uh, 20 feet by 20, 15 feet. So, that um, civil engineer will say, how, how much uh, cement? Uh, how much uh, uh, steel, how many people should work for how many days? A civil engineer will give you a rough idea. Now I tell you, uh, I burst a cracker in uh, my house for a nuclear bomb. Its yield was 10 to the power 18 Ergs or something like that. Was it a bomb or a mosquito yawning or 
something like that. Do you know? But you could say that elephants cannot sit in a car. Right? Nobel was given to proton pumping. These kind of things. Why did they ha ha goof up so bad? Proton is 0 0.0002 0 angstroms. Very, very small. Why? So, like this, here, some cons, the structure is very similar, but certain things, just because of correlations and observations, they give. If people had gotten some concepts of physics, very core and great, okay, then that would not have happened. Okay, now you, you touch the uh, wooden part on your table. All right. Okay, now touch the metallic part. Right? Which one is at a lower temperature? Metal, right? 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 All of you agree? Yeah. All of you are wrong. Yeah. Wooden part. Both are the same temperature. Yeah, exactly. So, so, so there is very simple idea. Both are at the same temperature. So, here is conceptual understanding of very simple, simple thing. So if they had known, they know the definition they will study, but they will not register. They will not try to translate the day to day experience like what you said. Elephants cannot sit in a car because it's big. How do you know it is big? Yes, that is your day to day life experience. This delta G, uh, that, that, somehow that doesn't translate to your day to day experience. A civil engineer gets a hands-on feel about how many sacks of cement and all that. As a biochemist, as a biotechnologist, you are supposed to understand the time, the kind of the, the space ideas, all that. that are, and the, the physics part of it also is a task. So when Danny puts something like this, which is being taught, and which is being applied and which is being perceived as true the world over. It was something that even a child should have called out if he knew the basic definition of what an enzyme is. Yes or no? Do you agree or not? Yes or no? Yes. So that is what we did. Have you heard? Now I'll give it back to Danny. Have you heard of Emperor's New Clothes? Yes. Hans Christian Andersen's story. I'll tell you that story. There's a story that you all would have studied. There's a, there was an emperor who was very fond of crazy things. He was indulgent in his own uh, fanciful activities. He never paid much attention on the governance and he was more interested in um, clothes and things like that, right? So there came around a couple of weavers and they gave them gave him a, a promise that he, they make him wonderful fine clothes. You have heard the story? And then they say only the most smartest, the most learned, the connoisseurs of clothes, but the most finest people can understand the nature, nature, texture of that cloth. I, I know I'm taking time, but this is very important for you to appreciate what Danny is saying. So, you people see delta G equations and you shut your. This is way beyond our reach. No, it is not. I'm basically a biologist. I had no clue about these things. Just got some fundamentals clear like this. You know, what is temperature? What is that is enough. So believe me, you can do this. So these people told uh, these viewers said to them that only the finest thinkers and seers and connoisseurs, they can understand. So what happened is, they took a lot of money from the emperor and they started enjoying it. And then uh, after a few days, weeks went by, the king, the emperor sent somebody to have a look. So when they came, they saw uh, these people started to put on a show. Oh, see, it's going around. The yarn is there, nothing was there. So, 
there was some action they would do. So this bank being not so confident, he could not call out the bluff. Um, he said, when he came back, you know, the work is going on. He just said, the work is going on. Yeah. And then after a few days, the next in higher command went. So he had already said, they were already, and he also had some ego problems, and he could not also call it out. Call it out. He also said. So finally, like this, a whole bunch of people go verify. Everybody sees because of some nonsense that people have already agreed upon. And finally, uh, the day comes when they come. They, uh, they say, Raja says, I have had enough. I want to see what the cloth is. So they come. They do all these pretense. They put the cloth on him. And then the king goes out. Suddenly a kid comes and says, Hey, Raja Nanga. Basically, he had nothing on. So that's it. You have, you have read that. You have come to. You have a story? Yeah, Emperor's new clothes. It's in all kids' textbooks. So, the kid can call out because, not because the kid is smart. The kid can call out because the kid has some basic funders. It's not bound by the social good things and all that. So, that's what. We are not very smart people. We we know what the definition of enzyme is. If we knew uh, which one is colder, the, uh, the metallic one or the wooden one, if I had asked that, if you had the, the foundation of what the definition of temperature or heat is, if I ask you, which one has more heat, a cold one of warm rice or a cup of hot coffee? Can you answer? Would have said cup of hot coffee, cup of here. Exactly. So now you need to understand what heat is, what temperature is, what heat is dependent upon, what is temperature dependent upon, things like that. Here, coming back to this, calling out something as wrong, whether in textbooks or whether uttered by your teacher or whether in a symposium, all that can occur only if you have your attention here. And you have some amount of fundamental awareness. If you just believe in parroting what has been taught to you, doesn't work. Did you understand? So uh, I took this 10 15 minutes extra to barge into his talk, to disrupt his talk because a lot of things had gone. Was I right in telling you that you had lost the delta G and all that? Did you understand that? Yeah? Did you? Was it getting your attention what you were saying? This part did you see? Did you understand why it is? I think it's time for you to leave. No, no. This is very important. Did you understand? What happened? No, sir. Yes. Huh? No, because this is very important. Otherwise, whatever Danny is saying. It is meaningless. We, 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 we are not communicating. See, here is a theory that LDHA in muscle and LDHB, they catalyze different reactions when they are isozymes. Yeah, basically structure is same. How, how will you have that? They had it. Why? Because of something. Cause, consequence, they just correlated without really verifying the basic aspects of theoretical foundations of enzyme. Yeah. Go ahead, Daniel. Sorry. Did you understand now? Yes. The LDHA, LDHB is very important. OK. So we had, this is just a summary. We have a huge table there. I don't want to show that. It cannot be visible also. But all of these, compounds, some of them are synthetic, most of them are natural. They also say that some of them are specifically inhibiting ADHA. OK, in literature you can find that some compounds are known to be specifically, specifically able to inhibit only LDHA, which I found was weird because the active site of both these is similar, the structures are similar, the topography is similar. So, we say I and O, 
I means inside, it bound inside when we did the docking. O means it bound outside. We did blind docks for uh, several LDH A and B. You can see pig B, uh, rabbit A, rat A, pig A. So what we wanted to find out is through blind docking, you know, you don't tell the uh, ligand where to bind. You just put a box around the whole protein. Most of them favorably bound outside. Also, some of them bound inside. OK, that's fine. So you can see here that NADH. If you see NADH is supposed to bind to which one very favorably? Will be to A, right? Uh, NAD plus should bind to B, but both of them are OK. They are able to bind. Sometimes the orientation was ulta. Instead of the nicotinamide ring going in, the other part is going in. Right? So NAD plus, for example, oriented in the unfavorable way, that is the ulta in one of the dockings. It's just some visual thing for you to understand. You know, in the crystal structure, very clearly of A and B, you got the uh, coenzyme binding all the way inside, and then beyond that, you got the negatively charged lactate or pyruvate being stabilized by two arginine residues. I had shown you that. All of these inhibitors, I don't want you to read anything there. The visual here is just that on the surface, you can see at some point, some of the inhibitors are binding there more favorably. But yet they are known to be inhibitors of lactate dehydrogenase. How? Why? Is a question that we asked. Now, because these molecules have antioxidant properties, could it be that they are scavenging ROS also. Is that a mechanism, right? Some of them bound at the mouth, like crypt blocker. What you say is crypt blocker. That is entry of substrates and exit of product cannot happen like that. But in most cases, we saw that there was favorable binding of even lactate to one part on the monomer surface. Here you can see that large molecules which cannot even enter the active site. For example, uh, you can see PGG, pentao, gal, gal, something like that, galoil. It's a very huge molecule. It doesn't go in. It cannot go in. But still it inhibits the enzyme. How? Right? So there is some other mechanism. What could that be? Also, if you see the structures of various mammalian LDH, the the yeah, the crystal structures, yeah, you can see here, for example, rat LDH. There is no uh, active site separate. You can see that it's completely exposed to the solvent. Uh, you can see that in rabbit also, but if you see the pig uh, enzyme, you can see that it's closed uh, both A and B, right? You can see that it's there is a kind of channel which you can see, which I put a red circle. That is the alternate binding site which you are seeing in the yellow box, right? So it's not binding exactly to the active site in our docking. So we also have such diversity in these structures. In one of the papers I saw, they are saying that the rate limiting step of the enzyme is not hydride transfer. Hydride is direct to electron transfer from NADH to the pyruvate, right? It's not a, a hydride transfer that is the rate limiting step, but it is the flipping of a particular loop, which is the rate limiting step, which does not make much sense, right? How can the movement of a particular protein loop influence the reaction or its rate? I don't know. I mean, if you know, 
this is what we have come to finally right you seen this slide before that there can be a particular redox coenzyme which can produce ros that ros can be involved in the reaction but with ldh you know we can say that for pyruvate to lactate conversion because the equilibrium constant is very high uh, and the energy is very favorable you have a very high negative delta g the reaction could happen through the active site i mean the conventional acid base catalysis hypothesis but what about lactate to pyruvate that is our major question so uh, we have proposed that you know based on our docking we know that even lactate can bind somewhere else other than the active site more favorably we have seen that so what we have said is that ldh because of the negative charge it could stabilize to superoxide uh, and also you know nadh can you know uh, also bind and you can have multiple things happening here in the reaction like um, superoxide binding and then nadh being converted and h2o2 forming because of reaction of superoxide and nadh nadh can give rise to superoxide uh, you can also have you know oxygen being converted to superoxide there are so many things that can happen ros can bind also in the active site and if the substrate is bound on the surface ros can attack lactate also so there can be uh, many things that can happen so uh, there was a proposal that we would rename the enzyme uh, to pyruvate reductase rather than keeping it as lactate dehydrogenase because it does not as the name goes it does not dehydrogenate lactate it only works on pyruvate and it reduces pyruvate to lactate so we can call it pyruvate reductase so there are multiple routes in the morbon scheme that can be involved and uh, there are other things that can happen also uh, like for example there is singlet oxygen which is a you know in photochemistry and all there is singlet oxygen which is an activated form that can you know react with nadh and then give uh, ros or h2o2 so these kind of things can happen and that could be the reason ros could be the reason for you know lactate to pyruvate conversion now to uh, kind of prove that this is a kind of mechanism where uh we can say that in the morbon scheme lactate could bind somewhere on the surface of the protein not exactly to the active site and still be converted into pyruvate so we can see that uh lactate was bound there in our docking result i have marked that so now going forward this i don't know if you are able to see this this is an experiment done by abhinav and his phd scholar uh if you take ldh enzyme there is both the dldh as well as lldh dldh is a bacterial ldh which catalyzes d lactate uh, lldh is the one that we have in our system which catalyzes l lactate so work both with d lactate lactic acid dehydrogenase as well as l ldh what happened was if you take the system is b is buffer p is pyruvate and nadh here we are monitoring the consumption of nadh spectrophotometrically uh, you can see that the rate of nadh consumption if you put uh LLDH, for example, you can see that NADH plus LLDH, the golden color bars are very high, right? So, look at the rate per molar per second. You can see that it's like thousand five hundred. That's very high. 
uh, with three different buffer systems the scholar did the work one is phosphate buffer another one is acetate buffer another one is citrate buffer in all you can see that with uh, at least not dldh but with lldh you can see that there is nadh consumption is very high but if you see the reverse thing lactate to pyruvate in the three different buffer systems the rate is much lesser so the formation of ldh the production of ldh is not as good as the ldh depletion i would say so then liver tissue was taken and uh, in the liver tissue you can see that there are different setups you can see the colors uh, both l and d ldh were added but there is more consumption of nadh uh, in tissue I, can you just go back to the slide please sir this one <laughs> no, that's why I explained that. No, no, that's not good. Presentation, you need always watch out. <laughs> they will not see the axis. Hundreds, so. Yeah, because this is in hundreds and that is in thousands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Daddy, you don't present it like this because here. No, that is a raw thing. No, no, Yes. Did so, you understand what was said? Everybody has got to sleep. Yes. They are completely yeah, out. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's. I know this is going to be late, but it, it I, has to be late. Three, four, five minutes. I'll four, finish. Five. Okay. So, uh, what is the according to the calculations which were done by sir? This enzyme actually eats up NADH rather than making it. Right? Do you agree from the previous slide that it more readily consumes NADH rather than makes it? Well, well. so if you take uh, liver tissue again, now we are tracking that lactate to pyruvate. You can see that three different days the experiment was done. Day one, day two, day three doesn't mean liver was stored and you no, know, not like that. Three different days, but the trend is similar, right? You can see that uh, this is. You can see that the same trend of NADH is there. So there is something called a Fenton reaction. If you take hydrogen peroxide and you to put iron two plus, you will get iron three plus, and you will get radical OH. Hydroxyl radical. So uh, he tried to see if Fenton reaction can give rise to high NADH formation. Right here we are looking at NADH formation. So the Fenton reaction you can see at pH nine. Uh, this is an important point which I should tell you. Lactate dehydrogenase assays have been carried out in clinical serology. Uh, they take unnatural you know things like lithium lactate many things are very very uh, rich antioxidants and redox active molecules they are added pyruvate to lactate is happening without any problem lactate to pyruvate for that they are adding extra things which are non physiological that's a key problem which we have pointed out in that paper so here just Fenton reaction, you know, when you have hydrogen peroxide breaking down into radical, it is able to give you a lot of NADH and you can see pH 9 is very favorable. They are carrying out lactate to pyruvate reactions at very high pH in uh, diagnostic setups. And they also tried adding superoxide, you know, which is uh, a very reactive form of oxygen. And when you add superoxide into the medium, the you can see that only KO2 is also given. But the moment you add LDH, the NADH goes down. 
right repeatable so with this what i would say is they also did some uh, ftir to see if you know you can see the trace for pyruvate that is the red color you can see the trace for lactate the moment you add nad plus and ko2 you can see that uh, you are getting pyruvate to i mean uh, lactate to pyruvate conversion lactate is becoming pyruvate so uh, it was also traced with the help of gcms and the moment you have ko2 plus ldh uh, you can see that the amount of lactic acid has decreased right with this i don't know how much you have understood you are very tired this is the end of the day thank you for your patient listening if there are questions and i can answer i will definitely do so We, when we published this paper, we just did docking only, something that anybody can do here, right? If you had ordered off, things we do. So, one thing that we did not stress is, Dani, can you go back to that slide? I know you're busy, but then see something that very simply you can certain things. Go back, go back, go back, go back. This is wonderful data. Go back, go back, go back. You did not stress on this part. What did you? See, you said some ulta. The, where it happens, ulta is what you need to see. The NAD plus, it is supposed to get reduced to become NADH in the reverse, the the the, the reaction that is physiologically infeasible. Do you think it binds? If the electrons are coming from the active site is here, right? The bond and The lactate or pyruvate in the classical should be inside. So, which one is the nicotinamide moiety? Nicotinamide moiety is which one? And there is a. This is the base and then the nicotinamide, right? So, the positively charged nicotinamide will not go in. That's what is shown here. Common sense, you can get NAD plus will not go in and orient with the proper. Way like that. That's what Danny has shown you. Because Very, the arginines are because the positive. arginines are there, right? Positively charged arginines are there. So if the theory go back slides that if it is going by the same route that pentagon, which one? Not oh, that pentagon. Barber, the cancer thing. But ah, here. You see here. The classical theory says this way, this way. So the binding. Of everything is in the same. They say, but they say uh, then, uh, this has to go in. Then that has to come. It has to act at the active site that we both. How can it be? The docking clearly says it cannot dock like that. So very clear, very clear, and common sense also appeals. Positively charged NAD plus multiple arginines there. It will not. Yeah, it will repel. So that's why you get dock like that. so what common sense predicts what simple things predict these scientists because of the pressure of norm you understand they have conformed i told you one by one put box they put some cone in and try to put extra whatever is not accommodatable don't become scientists like that all right so Yeah, please ask questions to them. I know uh, they are they are really done. They are really done or completely not understood. <laughs> yes, yeah, you have been sitting from ten thirty. I just wanted to add. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, like so was. There has been constantly saying that you know scientists they will. because of some peer pressure they'll put up some theory i have seen this happening okay like i was in a lab where uh, the mentor believed that gold nanoparticles have some fluorescence they don't okay gold nanoparticles gold nanoparticles okay. they do not have fluorescence property fluorescence fluorescence property they don't have okay. but then somebody in china had reported that and then because of that pressure 
somebody in the lab also agreed to it that was a false data that she observed and she reported that to be fluorescence and it continued to be in the lab like that for a very long time unless it's broken <coughs> so happens this happens this truly happens that because of some pressure also scientists will push in a theory and it will propagate for years and years together so question 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 don't accept whatever you don't you don't see logically simply i tell you we are not intellectual geniuses and all that basic foundations basic aspects don't get scared whatever you don't understand you say you don't understand i told you the story of narsimhan sir krishna das don't forget it's very important you might not whatever these structures all these details that we are presenting not important what is important is the story that is coming with that have the guts to call out and if you you not have guts if you start talking dissipating like this this kind of meeting you are young we never got a chance to attend any symposium at your age we never i am looking at you people only because you know when young you can have ideas you can have by the time you get a little older the system would have crushed it do you understand it's very difficult to break that system that psyche it's very very difficult only if you are really fortunate you get some exposure some people in your lives who urge that kind of mindset otherwise it's very difficult all right so uh, let's just say some more 7:30 we'll let you go mudinjirche so uh, i think uh, just some interactions now um what was the take home story for Excuse me sir Hello
हेलो हिमोग्लोबिन Uh, it may be slightly changed different blood groups also like uh, for a positive or negative blood groups it is slightly changed and uh, the hemoglobin levels also the scalable will slow and high how you determine this uh, manner in common common way let me say this is good articulation is uh, i don't know I, i positive and negative what is positive rh factor rh positive ah okay rh what is rh uh, uh, factor it is an antigen on the cell surface so he has studied something now he is asking something is coming out all right that's good but nangella kabaddi aadrom ee kokko aadra andha mari aichu no problem no problem i'll tell you as it is ओके सो good we got something about hemoglobin that is good we got something about it good good one dhanidhi and uh, what about lactate dehydrogenase we have for you people let me tell you professor yaya is with us uh, please sir he is calicut university chemistry head is traveled all that far just to be with us there are still people who value good education good uh, Uh, scientific discourse otherwise he need not have come his student was leaving to sweden today so i wanted to introduce him as soon as he came but then um, he said we we'll talk after that but then i tell you that there are still people out there who will help you if you show the right attitude there are people who really care there are and then there is a system that is because what happens is many people don't interact and act, ask questions and so the system slowly shuts itself down so you need to shake yourself up a bit ldh and then all right okay ldh what did you get ha huh? no no don't no 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 this lateral no no it pains it pains no lateral see you are also doing see they are also doing oh so he is talking sorry i know let me see. anybody ldh that confidence when some somebody is when somebody is asking you it is your time to speak 
if you do this that means you are not taking up your opportunity in time did you understand that how sad it is you have the opportunity to spar with me to interact with me you have come this far why did you come to sulk away no you have come to interact so what is it that you learned about ldh so yes ldh most interesting thing about ldh ha huh? pardon see this hi sir back what is the most important thing you learned about ldh from danny let let us refresh i'm not letting you go that easily so see this and then i'll ask you the question again all right so i just gave you a refreshing that that the other slides were prepared by dani this was prepared by me what was the difference between dani slides and mine i'm going to be critical about dani right on his face <laughs> abhinav told him not to do that but still he did it so he has to get it right <laughs> we do business like that yes what was it ha huh? letters are one partly right but it was like a story i'll tell you one guy took a uh, frog all right he was a biologist so uh, this is the approach to its accuracy and precision and all that so uh, he is a biologist you know i'm very critical about biologists so he took a frog and then cut first day he said jump frog jumped about 2 feet jump 3 feet so he took many frogs like that and subjected them to the same condition every day he'll do some bunch of experiments he'll make a table and then he'll say the next day he got another bunch of frogs he said jump before say, saying that cue he cut one leg off so uh, the next uh, you know then he would say jump it will just move then so jump move a little bit more so like that second day he cut two legs off and said jump jump again and all that so third day he cut another leg and then finally he made a uh table and fun, final interpretation of the data was if you take a frog on the third day if you cut off two legs it doesn't hear properly <laughs> because on the second day when he cut two legs and said jump jump there was no real difference one good interpretation the ponds are small big okay that's not getting the main story it's not wrong the precision somewhere okay but accuracy no <laughs> you have to get to be accurate also yes it's 8 years problem i have been waiting for students for 8 years so i will not let you go that easily today <laughs> so tell me tell me ha huh? see you want to communicate but you don't want to be heard and responded to no 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 mean and when i say yes that source goes back into her mouth like that bro <laughs> it has to change yes mic mic yeah but per kaatu daan ga varda Okay. That's what. You no, know, to face the world and say 
that that's wrong if you are going to be sitting sulking away you are not shy, you are shy will you be able to do it no this is the first step start interacting with seniors ask questions in the class don't chat away in the class you keep chatting away amongst yourself that's the reason you are doing it. and stop doing that try to practice all right all right go ahead tell me anybody who learned something about it these two people poor guys they are not getting usually resource person get some money and all right i'm not going to give them a damn thing they just come they just, they, yesterday one of these guys slept on the floor poor guy <laughs> he said that he had a shoulder problem so he got the bed <laughs> so yeah so i'm telling you somebody has to tell me something about lds that they learned otherwise you're not going anywhere you're not getting just stop you please please do these are beta kids any beta kids yes there is yes beta kai on there bye stop beta kid he raises his hand once again that frog <laughs> Accuracy, precision, gone for us. Yes, yes, yes. All vague comments, not addressing the question. The question is very clear. We are playing a game. The question is very clear. What is the question? Something about ADS that you learned from Danny. Otherwise, Danny, Danny, you know, Tony could be wrong. It's a book for that. That is precisely what I said. What was wrong with Danny's uh, PowerPoint presentation? too much too much information too little time so we need to be focused yes that's what so but danny is very passionate he is very meticulous in what he does so in this time he wanted to give a lot of information to you and he will be very unhappy if you say that you didn't get anything all right so btex can i say that btex are somebody wants to salvage btex right yes you want to say something no 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 that is not ldhs yes yes ldhs are accumulated in the muscle sir uh, in hot muscles so ldh b is accumulated because it over pumps Uh, it doesn't stop its working so ldh b is accumulated on her okay that no but that is um, that is a classical view that ldh b is in the heart so it pumps and uh, there is no lactate so you don't have the lack like, muscle cramping so that is a classical view that is i said that is not that is not no that is not right right i show i told you a story about elephants from kerala kunjiraman apukotan all that remember that so now we have another problem yes anybody btech nobody will, will give you this opportunity you will not even be looked at in our school we train our btechs with lot of opportunities like this yes so Niranjana I know your name already see I know Niranjana's name already why yes yes real people will value real attention and real purpose one question she answered and that's why I remember her name properly and even if you don't answer properly if you are interactive I will remember you thank you sir uh one thing i understood was ldh is uh, considered as a cyclic enzyme as it converts pyruvate to lactate and lactate to pyruvate but sir said that it doesn't do the inverse reaction wonderful one of the most put your hands together for her that's, that's one of the paradigm shifting ideas that murbon concept ushers that uh, reactions with large difference in delta g that is uh, you know free energy of reaction those cannot work from i told you what was the example i told you i showed something jumping i told you that i can jump from here to here and there to here but i cannot jump from here to 
himalaya stop everest stop and i cannot jump i might jump back from there but i cannot jump again <laughs> right <laughs> yeah so you got it right so good so that's very good niranjana what else what else it's only a few more minutes and done in back off done 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 he, see i think we'll you take him <laughs> he is very conversant with you he is not talking to us he is not interacting he should interact with us no yeah, yeah, that is good anybody else so i think we will come to these people yes my dear seniors you are the people who can who are doing some research right yes mike so what is it that you think was interesting about the ldf that tiny percentage uh, what i think was interesting is Uh, there is a real gap between the delta g values because the reverse reaction from uh, lactate to pyruvate uh, it's taking plus 476 plus so it is not that easy for enzyme to get over that much of interaction energy and what on and uh, simply in the visual point of view no way that the positively charged nicotinamide ring is going to enter into the active site yeah, for the experimental assay for the reverse they use unreal conditions right so unreal conditions if you try to do you can say you could put a lion in a circus ring and then put a flaming loop and make the lion jump through that loop then you put a hypothesis we showed a lion jumping through a flaming loop in jungle lions jump flaming loop and then they get rewarded for it no is that a good theory no in we can show whatever we want we are capable of that but how it is in real place that's what count what's the time now 8 i think that's fantastic for first day tomorrow you will get food only if you attend the whole symposium we are spending how much money you know you have any idea 200 rupees what is that can you get anything we are paying you for stay khana nahi jata nahi raha i am not trying to drive it into you i am just trying to show you that we are great <laughs> just kidding and this dusra taraf se bhi you know the so muscles are actually great yeah yeah they are yeah. so good no i am just trying to uh, trying to be funny here in the sense heads i win tails you lose the point is please <laughs> please 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 tomorrow will you be more interactive wonderful because tomorrow the system is more complex we are coming to your system simpler system tomorrow is drug metabolism billion dollar industry and then respiration heat production photosynthesis electrophysiology vision it's going to be packed and the systems are much more complicated but i hope thank you so much uh, welcome professor yahya again our Yes, yes. If you want to, there, there was uh, there was this wonderful I, AR VR thingy that we had put here. Did, it, did any of you see it? How how was it? Yeah, three-dimensional ideas, no? Yeah, good. Always think in terms of if you're a biologist, think in terms of real space, real time, real forces. real 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 get it real just don't buy anything that we we'll go for data all right thank you so much come with me otherwise you won't get food because i have directed them don't give food <laughs> sir there were so many people here this is the scene how can we give food to this scene you need that many hey
ಹಲೋ ಹಲೋ ಪ್ರಭಾಹ ಯಶ್ಪಾಲ್ ಯಶ್ಪಾಲ್ ಸಾರಿ ಯಶ್ಪಾಲ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಯಶ್ಪಾಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈನ್ ಚಲೋ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಬಾಯ್ Yes, sir, I'm back. Hello. Hello, sir, I'm back. Uh, Yashpal, please, please ask your question. Please ask your yeah, question, my, Yashpal. He has been from the morning. Yeah, Sorry, Yashpal. Yes, ask me. Yeah, 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 my question was that you performed so many practical experiments. So, is there a way to know that a particular enzyme will act as a murzaim and particular uh, will act as a Michael Menton enzyme? Is there a... wonderful question so we are currently professor prasad gupta yaar this line is not steady that was a nice question the yeah question, so you can um, ah yeah yeah we are trying to get that we are using some ai protocols and some basic uh, uh, you know Uh, prompts from our side to try to make something by hopefully by wednesday uh, uh, thursday we will be able to release the website the basic form at least we are trying hard all right there is there is we are we are okay. at it we are at it thank you wonderful question so people are waiting Bye, for sir. thanks a lot and yeah sure enjoy you enjoy thank sir. you thank you thank you yashpal thank you so bye. much bye bye we'll see you tomorrow yeah yeah ಮಾಯ ಸರ್ ಮಾಯ ಶೋರ್ ಸರ್ ಶೋರ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರೈಡೇಟ್